What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? I would like to give a shout out to Average Student for requesting this video because he requested that I did a video on the heavy rescue that I turned the Goody fire truck into. Now as you can see that I didn't really do much to the outside. I removed the parts that held the ladders on and replaced them by these white 1x4 flats. Now the reason why I didn't put them all the way over here and put these two 1x2 red flats over here is because I wanted to keep the roof detachable like it was. Now to turn this into a heavy rescue what I did was I removed these panel pieces over the rear axles and turned them into compartments. Now you can do this in one of three ways. You can use this little piece right here that I used. You can use the two brick high doors and put them in there which would involve you removing these pieces right here on the sides. Or you can use a window frame that has one of these panel pieces in it. One of the three brick highs. Now I all my modifications are unfortunately works in progress because I don't have the proper pieces to do them right. So as you can see I wound up having to use a regular window piece on this side and then that other panel piece on that side. Now what I did with the inside is I took those panel pieces that were on the sides and I used them as dividers right here to divide the compartments up. I removed that big flat piece that was in there. Now I put some shelves on this side with some packs and stuff like that and some fire hydrants over here or fire extinguishers over here sorry. It's kind of like a med kit and fire hydrant type compartment. Now when you go to divide these two big compartments up what you want to do is you want to think about what you're going to put in those big compartments. And then that will determine as to what types of pieces you use and how you configure them. As you can see over here I got a hammer, pry bar, uh, wrench, some axes, and another tool right in there. And some road cones here and everything. And... I just used the little clips and some 2 by 3 pieces to divide that compartment up. Over here in this compartment, I used a 1 by 4 and some of the clips because I got some more axes. I got a little uh, saw tool right there. I actually got a toolbox piece down here at the bottom. I'll show you here in a second. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then I just took the other compartment and left it without any clips in it and used that for hazmat suits. So it all depends upon your preference, what you're going to put in the big and small compartments as to what you want to use as clips and everything. Right here I have a shovel and some spray nozzles. And I'm going to be putting a broom up in there when I get some. But that's pretty much everything I did to turn this into a heavy rescue. Because they really don't make a whole heck of a lot of parts for the fire department as far as fire department equipment goes. So kind of limited on what I could actually put in it. And, like I said, that's pretty much everything I did to it to turn this into a rescue truck. Not much to it. I removed the nozzle right there, as you can see, in the two little um, tank caps that were on the back. But pretty much everything else is the same. Um, because I have no intentions of taking this apart, I glued the roof together so this way... You could take it off and put the firefighters in the front and it wouldn't fall apart on you. And that's basically all I did. So, 
If you all made it to the end of this video and you like the suggestions I post, I'm giving you guys for how to configure this into something different and not lose the actual look of the original fire engine, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see some of my review videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. And then jump over to my channel and check out my aftermarket review playlist. So until next time, I'm Bones, you are whoever you are, and I am out of here.